Like ladies and gents When I mention my name at the door And I hope you pardon me See by my card I am finding a world we may explore You're in the dream I have drawn You're like the wings for my song I get a lift with your gift to no right from the wrong Really strong Our imagination will find this occasion To go where we know we belong Although it was too early for Harold to go to bed, he had been sent to his bedroom for refusing to eat something his parents called squash. The more Harold thought, the angrier he became. He didn't like being sent to his room and he didn't like being told to eat something he just knew would taste absolutely awful. Wanting to be left alone, Harold set off in search of solitude. Looking around, Harold realized he had gotten exactly what he'd asked for. He was alone, with no one to tell him what to do or what to eat. Harold's lasso reminded him that folks in the Old West were famous for being independent. So Harold decided to become a cowboy. And the best part was, he already had the hat. Uh -huh. Harold knew that there was one thing even the most solitary cowboys had to own. Harold was officially a lonesome cowboy. Harold was afraid he was in real trouble. Discovering that the tree was a peach tree, Harold decided that both he and the horse were ready for a snack. What Harold didn't realize was that he and the horse weren't the only ones fond of fresh peaches. But luckily, Harold was quick on the draw. Nothing here should 
Just find a stream, a guitar in a dream, instead of riding out of town on a train. Or you'll miss it the end of the train. Harold remembered that his horse wasn't a camel. heard that in the old west wherever there was water people built new towns Harold wondered if the town had been abandoned until Miss Rosie appeared telling Harold the bank had been robbed in the confusion, Miss Rosie had lost track of her daddy, Mayor Cobb. So, Harold drew the mayor's office. Wanting to reward Harold for reuniting him with his daughter, Mayor Cobb made Harold the town's new sheriff. Harold wasn't sure he wanted the responsibility, but the mayor begged and pleaded. The mayor told Harold his first official duty was to capture the mean bank robber. Since Harold had come to the Old West to be alone, he considered running away and forgetting the whole thing. But Harold knew that solitary cowboys were supposed to be brave. Knowing that bad guy hunting could be difficult work, Harold wanted to make sure his horse was absolutely ready. Something didn't seem quite right. So, Harold called on a professional. After searching high and low, Harold was hot and tired. Harold had been told that some cacti had water inside of them, but he had no idea how to get the water out.
feeling the night chill, Harold needed a way to keep warm. The very best part of being alone was that there was no one around to make Harold eat squash. Although he was very tired, Harold knew no real cowboy would ever end his day without a lonesome cowboy song. Now we chow down when we want to. Well, don't let that hunger haunt you. You're loaded on a lonesome trail. Just up and find you a stream. Find the trout about to shout. Let's wait for your guitar, make black your song, take what's on the hook, shorty's the cook. Come and get it. When I say partner draw, tender mercy's the law, though it's close, no cigar, there you are. Take it on home, boys. On a lonesome trail oh, On a lonesome trail We're gonna set a wild right here Where the water's clear Just to serve some peace dogs to the sin And my mama and pa Said a rusty Still cut the wool. No one's round in this one cow town. But you'll find it and sure cannot fail. Oh, at the end of the train. Wanting to make sure he woke up on time to resume his search, Harold drew a cowboy alarm clock. <laughs> All of a sudden, Harold wasn't so happy to be a lonesome cowboy. It was scary being all by himself at night. <laughs> Doing some serious thinking about how to find the bank robber, Harold remembered that in the cowboy shows he'd seen on TV, bad guys always had hideouts.
Anxious to be alone again, Harold retired as sheriff and bid Miss Rosie adieu. Harold was feeling sad. There was no one to talk to. No one to thank him for capturing the bad guy. Harold discovered that there was a problem with being all alone. It often left you feeling very lonely. Miss Rosie explained that everyone in town wanted to throw a barn dance in Harold's honor. But there was one small problem. Nobody had a barn. As the townspeople arrived, Harold was happy to see that many of them were bringing pie. Taking a partner, taking a heart for saddling, saddling stride with a buckboard ride. It's an alaman left in a lady go right in a circle you go with a do si do tonight. That's all night. Getting country fried. Lonesome guy, go swing your partner. Let that gal decide. She'll say if you are worthy of her pride. Some slow poke at the end of the trail. When everybody finished dancing, the blacksmith had an important announcement. Let's eat. By the time Harold made his way to the table, there was only one item left. Squash. Finally, too hungry to resist, Harold decided to give the squash a try. Full and content, Harold was ready to head home. But before he left, there was one last thing Harold wanted to do.
As he scooched down in his bed, Harold realized he was happy to be home, and he was even willing to admit that squash tasted pretty good. With a big yawn, Harold drew up his covers and dropped off to sleep, and his purple crayon dropped to the floor. <laughs>